Oh, hello everybody! Very welcome back to my channel, Martelis. Today we are hollowing out a solid piece of clay into a box. Some basic tools we'll be using. If you're so lucky to own a turning tool, you can have that ready. Right, so the amount of clay you choose would determine the size of your box. And keep in mind that we are using paper clay, so there is no need to wedge, but please do neaten the clay before we start. Yes, now we can smack the clay. Smack the clay with your fingers into the shape that you desire. Do not make it too complicated, especially if it's your first time trying. The hollowing out technique. The clay did rest before I picked up the wooden spoon. Any wooden object would help. And this is to do final shaping, to neaten extra on the clay body and also to compress that skin. This you can do all around, a firm grip on the spoon and keep it flat on the table so that that base would stand flat on the table after firing. Done paddling, stomp the base. Alright, here is my rectangular solid form. It's been standing for a whole night and it is leather hard skin but surely still soft on the inside. It's winter in South Africa so it shouldn't be very dry after a cold evening. Alright, so now I'm going to use a super handing cutting tool. It is made of two corks and a piece of gut, really strong gut. Uh, you're welcome to make yourself one at home. If you don't have corks, you're welcome to use perhaps a lid. Alright, so rolling up my, what I call, assassin's wire. You decide, you can make a small mark and you're going to keep your hand steady. Pulled through the solid form. There we go. Now we got a lid and we got a box space. We need to empty these. So, hollowing. Okay, so just before we start hollowing out, it, I could recommend you to draw a line about six, six millimeters wide from the edge and this will keep you in line with the hollowing so that the wall has an even thickness all around same for the lid so that the lid and the box has even wall thickness. Right, there we go. And now I can use my spoon. Okay, we're gonna use both for bigger sections and smaller sections. Like a avo. You're welcome to first draw an outline, dig it a bit deeper. Perhaps straight down, not all the way. And as you can see, the clay on the inside is still soft. But the clay on the outside has been drying. So that area is leather hard. Okay, be careful not to push the wall out when you push the spoon in. Now you can start taking clay out. Right, here we go. Thank you. 
Ándale. waiting in an elevator but there we go the lid hollowed out and the box space hollowed out neaten your clay see if it still fits and now let's see oops that extra clay back into the bag give it a spray and close it up tightly so it can be reused again for example the coil which will serve as a flange a flange is in this case a clay ridge that holds the lid of a pot allowing it to rest securely it can either be on the pot or the lid so here we're putting it on the pot or the box half of the coil is stuck to the clay body and the other half of the coil is sticking out over the clay body so to serve its goal and then i'd recommend you to work it in so not only this corner where the coil is joining itself on itself but also that bottom half that's resting on the wall of the box. You join by smoothing in that part of the clay and all around, all around. Also, then you are welcome to pinch the flange and make sure it's got an even thickness all around and even if your lid's not fitting properly, you can, if you have to, pinch in the flange 45 degrees inwards. Finally, test the lid and press it on there. There we go. This is also how the box must dry. Okay, keep the lid on the box so the shrinkage will be even and neaten your box on the inside now that was fun hope you keep on thinking out of the box <laughs>